everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates channel. Today's workout is specifically going to be about stretching and restoring the spine and the body. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna have you start about hip distance apart there with your feet. Okay, let's just relax those arms beside you, allowing your body to grow taller. We're gonna simply drop the chin to the chest. And then as we move down, we're going to peel away our body from this imaginary wall behind us. And you're just gonna allow your body to check in, dropping your chin towards your chest, letting your shoulders just relax and taking the weight off your heels and shifting the body weight into the ball of the feet. Relax your head a little more, look between the knees, maybe shift your weight back into your heels, taking the opportunity to check in with the body, see how we're feeling, relax with the shoulders. And then from here, you wanna focus on activating the glutes and begin to restock your spine up one piece at a time, one vertebra at a time. So each bone goes over each other, standing tall, the shoulders are gonna roll back. Let's go ahead and sweep those arms up to the sky. We're gonna grab a hold of the left wrist and take a side bend over to the right. And we're gonna come back to neutral, switching the position. Take a side bend over to the left, trying to avoid swaying your hips, but laterally side bending from the waist. Coming back through the center. Let's open up those arms. Let's send those fingertips down to the floor as if you were pushing away the walls here. You should feel a stretch going through your forearms. We're gonna drop those arms down beside you and then continue to nod the chin to the chest. Let's go into that roll down again. You're gonna go ahead and lower it down piece by piece. Again, drawing those fingertips to the toes. Take it a moment to just check out here as you soften through the shoulders, elongate through the neck. Maybe push the back of the knees to the wall behind you, shifting your weight forward, shifting your weight back, coming to the center of your own gravity here. Press into the floor, restocking the spine up one vertebra at a time. The head is the last thing to come up. Roll those shoulders all the way back. Beautiful. So we're already set up for our next exercise. So hip distance apart, right into the standing windmill. So arms are out beside you. And think of your arms as airplane wings here. So they're not gonna be moving in this exercise. They're going just to be pinned back. You're gonna take a lateral side bend to the right here, keeping again those hips square, and then return back through center. Let's take it over to the left and back through center. So a lot of the exercises we're gonna go through today are coming from the postural therapy exercises that I do in class, that I have provided in my workshop booklets. This is all about alignment of the spine. They're very gentle corrective exercises. Coming back through the center, we'll do one more each way. This is one of my favorite ones coming back through the center. So we're gonna take that separation of the feet a little wider, a little wider than hip distance apart, and let's just repeat it. So think of relaxing with your knees. Again, as we tend to, to focus, we don't realize how much we're tensing through the body, and the knees are one of them. So you can see I'm going quite slowly here. It's not a fast movement, it's meant to go slow and controlled. And what you guys should be feeling or thinking about at this point is what is happening on the sides of your ribs down into your hips. We're gonna go one more to the left hand side and then returning back through center. So let's take it into a wider position, a position you wouldn't typically stand in. Again, soften through those knees and side bend over to the right. Good. And you can see my arms are just are just holding out in space. I'm not moving them. All of this movement is coming from the waist, from the torso. We want to minimize movement from the hips. This exercise is actually done best against a wall. So if you guys have a, a really blank, clear wall there, it's challenging but it is more effective, hold it there. Let's go ahead and return back to that first position so we're hip distance apart, and let's go ahead and check in again. So we're going over to the side, and maybe your range of motion has increased here. 
and through center. Trying to relax those shoulders. It can get a little bit um, a little tense. So if you do feel some burning sensation through your shoulder blades or shoulders, it's normal, but try to relax and soften it. Again, over to the left. We'll do one more here. And I already can feel my range of motion has increased. Hopefully yours has as well. And then back through the center, beautiful. So we're coming here. I'm just gonna have you pause right there. Keep that hip distance apart position. You're going to bend at the knuckles, take them right to your temples, thumbs to your chin. These are your standing elbow squeezes. You're gonna pull those elbows towards one another. Now for some of you, it may not happen where those elbows are going to completely touch. That's okay, do the best you can. What I do wanna point out is angle your elbows down slightly below the shoulders because a lot of the times we're here and then we end up working through this movement with shrugged shoulders. So I do want shoulders down and relaxed. So pointing those elbows downward does help. Maybe doing this in front of a mirror can help you too. And open out. So our goal here is to do about 20. You should be feeling a stretch through the back of your shoulders. So if you do have tight shoulders, you should also feel this um, through the uh, top part of your upper back. Again, everyone will feel a little different, just depending on your body is. Nice. Opening and closing. Again, the goal here is to try to maintain a neutral wrist. So if you guys notice that you're, you're breaking the wrist here, okay, we wanna avoid that and maintain a nice neutral position. Let's go for five more. And again, shoulders are dropping four. And pull in for three. Again, you're doing the best you can. If your elbows don't touch, that's okay. And last time. Good. And then let's drop that down. Okay, so from here, you're gonna go ahead and continue with that bent position with the knuckles. Arms are out, standing arm circles. Feet are just where, we're, where they're at. So you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades together here. Okay, so think of left and right equally pinching back. Thumbs are pointing straight ahead. We're gonna do some fast circular motions forward. So shoulders are down. Again, a lot of this stuff is great to do in front of a mirror just because you can check in with your body and making sure you aren't shrugging. These are challenging, guys, so check in with your shoulder blades. Are you still continuing to squeeze left and right equally here? Continue to breathe. Think of rolling your shoulders back if you feel like it's starting to um, drift forward. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We're going to pause right here. So you're going to flip those palms up, point those thumbs back. Same idea, just going backwards. So again, pinch the shoulder blades again. Take a pause if you need to, to reset. I'd be more concerned about your form and your shoulders down. So you're getting the most out of this. But it should feel like you're getting this complete openness through your chest. So focus on widening through your collarbone and just breathing at your own pace. There's no right or wrong here with breath. And let's take it back. And we're, our, our average is about 40 here. So anywhere from 25 to 40, I'd say for, for each individual. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So from here, let's, I know those shoulders are, are pretty exhausted. So we're going to pinch the shoulder blades together. Keep that tightness like you're cracking a walnut. And then I want you to shrug your shoulders up. However, don't let that walnut go. So you're going to lower them down. Keep the pinch between the shoulder blades. Let's lift it back up for nine and eight. So the goal here is that we're contracting the upper traps here in order to release them. So a lot of the times if we're stressed and tensed out, we can um, overly work those muscles so they're overly active and then they do get tight on us. So let's take it for another three and two. Keep that pinch one more time and then releasing it here, perfect. So from this position, I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and we're gonna come down to the floor and we're going to line ourselves up so that your knees are in line with your hips, 
okay? We're gonna lie you down all the way. And hips are lined up, stacked. Shoulders are lined up, stacked. We're gonna go into a sleeper stretch. So you're gonna take that bottom arm. Now, some of you may need to have a pillow here because you are gonna drop your head. So if it doesn't feel right for you, add a little uh, pillow underneath, um, just something to support your neck so that you can maintain proper alignment. I'm gonna just rest it down all the way, but this bottom arm is going to come up. You're gonna take your opposite hand to the wrist. You're going to begin to press down. So a couple things to note here, guys. Um, we can angle this elbow up to the shoulder, okay? You should feel this running through um, the bicep tendon, so it's basically right on the side of your shoulder here, okay? You may even feel it running through the back of your shoulder if it's pretty tight. And you're just gently pressing, so I'm not pushing very hard. Um, what we're doing is allowing for internal rotation to occur. So you could add contraction. So if you liked pressing against your hand, that would be okay. Otherwise, just gently pressing down in order to feel that stretch. Um, a couple things to keep an eye out. This hand, the hand that is um, on the floor, should be closer to your body. If you feel it drifting away, bring it back in. You're gonna feel the stretch way more. And it's about a minute hold here. So anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 here. So like, everyone might be a little different, depending on how much time you're, you have to. Again, relax through your shoulders, taking a deep breath in through the nose, letting the exhale fall out. All right, release that. Take that arm, just rest it. We're gonna go ahead and take the top arm. So you're stacked once again, shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. You're gonna open up that top arm without shifting your legs here. So knees are gonna be completely stacked and you can look up at the ceiling and you can open as wide as you possibly can. Again, the goal would be to touch the floor. Everyone will be different depending on how your body is feeling today. Restack it, just reach past your fingertips up towards the ceiling opening up and that feels pretty good I don't know about you guys but it does feel nice let's reach it up and over and we'll do about five take your take it your own pace you should feel like this muscle right here the pectoral in front of the shoulder is stretching you're regaining flexibility through your spine Let's just open. And I can feel a little bit more each time getting there. Last one. Again, knees are anchored together. And I don't quite touch the floor yet, but that's okay. And then I'm going to have you guys take it to the other side. So I'm just going to flip ourselves around Again, line ourselves up for that sleeper stretch. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm just adjusting here. Um, okay, so ankles in line with the knees, knees in line with the hips. Let's roll that top hip forward. All right, how do we look here? Okay, so we're gonna take that, um, that bottom arm. Let's take your hand to the wrist. We're gently pressing down. And this side might feel completely different Again, if you are more dominant on one side, it could feel as if that side is tighter. And again, recheck. You can change the position. So if you need to move the elbow up higher in line with your shoulder, that's fine. And then roll your top shoulder forward and see how that changes things. It's good to explore to see where, what the um, what needs to be addressed in the body, I should say. And just breathe again, another 30 to 60 second holds. Maybe you're doing a little longer on one side because you notice it's a little tighter, and that's okay too. You're breathing at your own pace, so taking, taking this opportunity to really find that breath and 
using the breath to release stress, release toxins. Try to avoid holding on to your breath. And then let's go ahead and release that. Let's take those arms. Let's stack them hand over hand. You're going to reach past the bottom fingertips up to the ceiling. Remember, those knees are glued together as we open up. Get back and in. Definitely way tighter on this side, so I may not even come close to touching the floor. And you may notice that about your own body. Reaching up, let's go for three. Let's go here for two. Let's do one more here. Reach up and open. Knees are glued shut. Perfect, and come right back in. Good, so let's take you guys on your back. Go on to the back here. And let's just do some nice gentle pelvic tilts. So arms are down beside you. We can, um, we can go palms up. I like palms up. It helps to rotate those shoulders back. And then feet are grounded and planted. Make sure your feet are not super wide. I do want them a little bit closer together here, but not completely glued shut. So there is a hip distance apart separation. You're going to imprint your spine as if you were flattening your back against the mat, or the floor, I should say. And then you're going to rock your hips forward, creating this arch in your back. So it's a gentle lift, and then you're gonna go ahead and roll it back. So you don't have to, overly use muscles. Um, I just want a natural flow. Uh, if you do have a tight low back, the imprint is gonna feel really nice to help elongate those muscles and stretch them out. And if you have a little bit of a flatter back, creating that natural curve, that arch, is gonna be um, very supportive in this exercise. And we can just do about 10 of them. You can do more if it feels really nice for you. And let's go for another three. And rocking it forward for two. And one more time, you're gonna rock it forward. And then let's take it back, beautiful. So arms out to a T, let's go palms down, fingertips reaching opposite directions of the room. We're gonna take a hold of that right ankle, place it on top of the left knee. You're going to stamp the floor as you allow your hips to cross over and may they the foot may or may not drop to the floor. It's okay. And then I want you to think about this right knee reaching away from your body. So it's going to go that way, okay? So reach it away from your body as far as you can. Again, we are contracting through that hip flexor and some of you may feel it on the outside of your hip and your piriformis if you guys are just really tight through the hips. And then the goal would be for everyone else to feel it through the hip flexors, that, that stubborn muscle that creates a lot of stress for us. And then once you're there, guys, continue to reach away with that knee. Um, I'm gonna have you guys look to the opposite side, so I'm gonna turn away from you. So the legs are to the left, the head is looking to the right. And we can pause here for a minute and just breathe again. Think of breathing in through your nose, past your chest, deep into your belly, and taking that long exhalation out. Soften through your eyes if you'd like. Again, this is about just restoring the body. And then let's return the head up first through center. Gently, let's go ahead and bring those legs back up. And then we can drop that right foot down, taking that left ankle over the right knee. We're gonna stamp that left foot down to the floor, okay? palms are down so think about actually having each individual finger pressing through the floor 
and then you are reaching your left knee away from you. And again, you're breathing. So shoulders down. Check in with your body, seeing how this side feels in comparison to the opposite side. And this is again um, helpful for hip, hip realignment. So when we're stretching the hip flexor, it helps to release any low back discomfort as long as you have um, no major issues going on through your back. So let's bring the head up through center. Let's go ahead and bring those hips up next. Let's drop the foot down. Perfect. I'm going to have you guys turn to your stomach. So we're going to flip to the stomach here. We're going to end you with a little bit of back extension. So let's have feet separated. Let's take those hands down. Fingertips are spread apart. I'm going to have you guys just look at the floor and you're going to push yourself to what you feel is comfortable. So I'm going to go all the way up into my extension. My arms are straight. Um, I can tend to hyperextend a little bit. So just be mindful that you have a soft elbow there at the top and then gently you're gonna drop your chest back down again. So m you may not be able to um, get as far as me, that's okay. You may even need to adjust your hands to walk them higher up and that's okay. The only thing I would say is you wanna be more wide than you are narrow. That's gonna be more challenging and what I mean by that is if you are right here, this is gonna be more challenging for you to come all the way up into extension. So try to allow those hands to be in a wider space here. And this, for me, this is just a comfortable position. And what you guys should be feeling is a, a low back stretch here. So when you guys are getting low back discomfort, taking this exercise, even if you're just doing five to 10 of them, this should help to minimize the discomfort if not alleviate the pain all put together. And releasing down. Good, we're gonna try three more. So again, using your body to lift, not creating more effort. We don't wanna think of this as a complete push up. Good, and lift for two. And if there's a certain position that just feels nice for you, Maybe it's at the top. Feel free to hang out there. If you're getting any low back discomfort too, guys, think of contracting through your glutes. You almost wanna like focus on squeezing through your butt cheeks here. And then let's go ahead and drop it back down again. Good. Gently, we can push ourselves back into what we call a child's pose. So if your knees are okay, we can just drop your heels back, um, I'm sorry, your tailbone back to your heels. You can have a wide separation and then just draw those arms at Rest your forehead down if you have the flexibility. If you don't, you can always just be a little higher up, but just taking a moment to, to relax and breathe. Again, inventory of your body. It's always nice to check in and see what the body is telling us. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, I will be back with some more um, restorative exercises, some Pilates mat exercises, just to again, continue to get your bodies moving and flowing. Have a great day.